Good evening. Welcome to Hartwood Dunny in the stable studio. Mark is having a canary in the background, or maybe it's a duck. I'm not sure. He's, he's sitting here tapping his watch. I'll let you see him in a second. I'm just going to quick drink a tea before we start. <laughs> Welcome along, guys. Um, who have we got assisting? <laughs> assisting. <laughs> it's the wrong word, really, isn't it? I mean, yeah. who have we got? Uh, let's see. Quark, quark. There we go. Look, Beckett's still tapping his watch. He's been doing that for the last five minutes, you know. <sighs> God. Hi, everyone. So we've got, we've got Mark Beckett. He's here. We've got Pete from Twisted Trees. We've Hello. got... Kelly from TJ Turning, who's sitting in his living room, he's not in his workshop. He's Hello, everybody. Now, obviously. And we've got the glorious Relaxing. Joe. Good evening. So you, you're safe tonight. If I use your cigarette tonight, guys, you're safe. The, there will be an angelic singing rather than Mark's rendition of Lunchtime. Isn't that a lovely duck? It's, not it's a rabbit. <laughs> Show everybody, Mark. Let them see your let's, rabbit. Let's, let's, now, is that a rabbit, people? Okay, so you, you, yeah, no, no, in the just, chat. Just, is that a rabbit or a duck? And let us, let us make our mind up. Let's is this a duck his or a rabbit? Is that a duck or is it a fat snowman? Okay, guys, you can, you can take your pick. <laughs> Whatever you think, guys. Love right, ears. When they're glued together. Quark, quark. Uh, if one of the ears don't work out, you could always put it on the front and make it a bill. Yeah. 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 Steve, have, have I got room for Steven here? One, one, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah, yeah. Like. yeah. Steve, Steve's still Steve's, awake. Right, Steve's just come in and he's getting, he's having a quick chat and he'll be in shortly. So we'll Fair get enough. Steve to make to make a fool of me as well. That's even better. All yeah. the time to get out of the shower before he comes in there. So yeah. I had a choice of three bits of wood tonight, guys. I had uh, uh, let me just put them on. Check us in yeah. the background. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let people see it. Get in the background. Go on. Where are you? Rex, you're probably right. Oh. What Rex said now? It's a ducking rabbit. It's a ducking rabbit, yeah. So I had this piece of uh, ash, which is six by two ish. I had this piece of cherry, which is it's a like, foot long. It's looking like a bit of cherry. By two inches deep. Spotted, but look at it. Yeah, I don't think it's spotted. No, I don't think so. I just think it's badly sewn. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that then? That may well have been my uh, that may may well have been my chainsaw, or have this piece of uh, you, which that is nice ten and a half inches by two inches, mm. and it has a big bit missing out. Oh, you can't see a big bit missing out the side here, so not going to have to be the An OG platter that would look nice. So, but there's, a bit, of bit, there's a bit of a split in it here, mm. so I'm not sure if it'll hold together. And there's also another bit of a <coughs> split in it there. But it looks not too bad on that side. All three, so, then. You got time? So I haven't got time to do all three. Uh, I had in my head to do this little piece, little piece of ash. All three have got a faceplate ring mounted on the back. Choose. So far, I don't mind. So far, we've got two ewes and one cherry. Oh, no. Nobody <laughs> wants the ash. Nobody likes your ash. Nobody likes my ash. Maybe we had enough ice today. Two years, two <laughs> cherries. Oh, there you go then. Come on then, people. Three You're cherries. a cherry. Three cherries. Three cherries. Three years, another you. Three cherries. Four you, years, another you. Five years. Five years. Oh, well, it looks like the uh, the ash is out the window, so we'll need to burn it. No burn it. Five for you. Five for you. Five you. No, no, there's a couple of people for two ash. Three ash. Oh, oh, ash is coming back then. Another, another you. Six you, five cherry, another you, another cherry, another you, another you, seven, eight you, another cherry, another eight, cherry. Five, eight, six, eight, nine, seven, six. it's going to have to be the big chuck, nine, ten, eight, ten, nine, ten, you, you. that's oh. only because people 11, keep 10. saying it, and keep another you, another you, 11, another you, 10, 12, 10, doesn't count if it's the same person saying it all the time. A bit like well, that's no, what it's not doing. the same person. So... <laughs> Zombie. So it we, looks, like left, it looks like it's going to be you. Are we left you. with the you then? Yeah, okay. I think so. I Zed, wanted the cherry. No, no, no. Well, Zed, 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 Zed wants Zed the cherry. Wants cherry, but I mean... You know. How many so cherries does he have said? To be a lot, 
the cherry would have to be a winged bowl or something like it's a bit boring, really. Yeah, and the good so thing about you is it does wind up the American cousins, doesn't it? Hmm. It does because they haven't got much of it. Yeah, is that, is that the wind problem? up the American cousins. <laughs> so you, isn't Love it? it? There's a piece of you on the late now, guys. Let me just readjust my. Uh, I might upset Hodgepodge because he can't make any any um, ash jokes. Yeah, he he made enough of ash jokes at lunchtime. Charge on camera. camera but... Be brave, buying go for the use says Frank Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put up a joke rest on. Oh, I suppose we better do that. Let's go with that. That suit you better. So, let's have a look. So on a faceplate, that should be secure enough. Double check, make sure it's tight. Open, it's tight. So we're making a divot then, aren't we? Uh, we're making something. I'm not Who's sure. making the chat out then? Are we making a platter or are we making a what dish? Do that? Go you that, Mark. I'll go on, Joe. Yeah, Me? we'll make a dish. I'll do yeah, that. Go. I'll do that. Go for it, Joe. Go for it, Joe. Go from, go from and whilst you're doing that, I'll just round us off. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, good evening, everybody. So, we have got Safety Door goals. 60, Alex Widden Things, James Crawford, Gerard the French Turner, Lawrence Bagaja, Peter Corcoran, uh, Ospod Woodworks, Zombie Wood Turner, Fred Gilliver, Susie Swiss Wood Turner, William Kenny, S Steve Hale. Roger Kens, Rex B, Norman Greenwell, N Nigel Foster, Tony Smith, Wood Turnings Barry Barry, Wavy Woodshed, Dave Oti, Dave Oti, uh, Philip J, Richard Phelan. Hi, Richard. I need, to I, I need to talk to you about some blanks, buddy. I need some more blanks. Trevor Reed, Michael McEwen. Wendy for two fish. Uh, who's doing it? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be you, told, Master Baker. You're in it, Mark. Two fish crab works. Focus <laughs> among them. Jennifer Craft Creations. And I'm hoping I've not missed anyone out. William Kenny. Keith Jarvis, Michelle Lewisby. Michelle Lewisby. I've not got to the end yet. Well, we have. Well, you might have. I've not. Just... Malcolm Douglas. Seth. Keith Jarvis. Thanks. Buster West, Tony Smith, Barry Chitty. Oh, minute, they're coming in thick and fast. Mm. I know. How many, how many people are in there watching? Far too many by the sounds of it. Terry nah, Bartlett, Michelle Oosby. We've got the Klondike Craftsman, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. That's too high. There's a lot of people talking, is all I'm going to say. Kite is shed. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're Charlie one of them. Taylor. And I think, possibly, I've got... Oh, Mark Harvey. Right. Yeah, he's been 23 hours, hours he hasn't been mentioned yet. If, if I've missed anybody out, I do apologise. Yeah. Uh, I got distracted by moment, Mark so. Beckett, but don't worry about that now. It's... Mm. Yeah, okay, Mark, Mark Harvey's been here since yesterday. <laughs> Nigel Foster says, please don't upset Joe, she might sing. Oh, yeah, very good. Good Miller at Woodspun Round is in. And Stephen Hello. Miller. Evening, good evening. Evening, everybody. Stephen Mellerton. You said that. Good to see you, Ben. You're still going to burn this one? Um, I might. Burning you, I don't think that's allowed, is it? Yeah, no, I don't think it is. That's what I asked. Never done it. 
I don't know what it looks like. Yeah. I can imagine it would crack like mad. I would imagine so, yeah. It doesn't like, it doesn't like heat, does it? Will we, will we find out? No. Well, if it's good, decent grain, then I shouldn't. Yeah. You'll think of it and then you look at the colour and think, nah. I've done. I have actually coloured it once. And I've turned it off again. <sighs> I'm going to get the tool rest a little bit closer, Brian. That's what I'm doing, Mark. That's just why I stopped. Because I'm going to move the tool rest a bit closer. Just about get rid of that little inclusion thing there. That was good if you just stopped the lead for me with the tool rest. And I know what you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then you're supposed that. to spin it to make sure it's not touching it. Yep. And then you're supposed to start it again. There you go. We're wearing a bag like Terry's soon. Nah. Actually, there's 400 comments that just come from the chat saying Brian's not allowed to use burning tools because his hands don't like it. Mm. This is true. I was a bit worried about burning the ash. But that's okay, I'll make a video of that tomorrow. I do like that shit. Todd at Glen Cove Woodworks is in. I'm glad you like it because I don't think anybody else does by the same time. No, I don't. I don't think so. Right, let's get a mortis on the bottom. Did we mention Todd was in? Let's get the bottom flat first. Just done that. And uh, Robert says, that's Michelle's job anyway, is to burn your ash. <laughs> he managed to get it in. He did, didn't he? I like your beaver. I really like your beaver. So it goes in it, Robert. <laughs> Somebody, I think you mean Brian, but not on Mark. Why is that? Seems awfully dry, that, Brian. It is, said, it is extremely dry. Somebody said, hey, Mark, there was a bit of sawdust on your floor. It's not me. No, it's Are me. you saying you don't have any sawdust on your floor? No, no I don't. It today. Hmm. I'm going to take this side down a bit more to get rid of this lumpy bit here. Cleaned it on Friday before. It was annoying me. Well, you left it in I cleaned mine this morning and then it's got... I'll start it again. <laughs> <Beastly>. <laughs> so, are you going to be doing loads of these ducks then, Mark? They're rabbits, Joe. <sighs> you might be making the odd rabbit, Joe. Okay. I know what it is. It's a chicken. Yeah, I've got a pointed duck. beak on it, yeah. In time of year, it's dressed up like a joke, duck. Yeah, it's that uh, traditional Easter duck deserve. figure, isn't it? Hmm. It's an Easter duck, yeah. Yeah, traditional Easter duck. That's it. There's no way I it's like an it Easter duck. Robert says Easter is approaching, so those ducks will be yeah, a hit. I'm having trouble keeping that. Uh, <laughs> well, there's two left, a little bit. I do like you. I know you like I'm, me. I'm not liking it very we much at all. See, Keith, Keith Jarvis was okay up to the last part there, because he said it was tidy yesterday, Mark. Sort of. Yeah, all right, sure. thanks. 
XB wants to know if there are any live demos this week, please. There's one now. There's, and it was on there's one now. Time, like, and there's, there's, there's a there. couple tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe At least one on Wednesday. Keith or Andy tomorrow, um, or Keith and Andy tomorrow evening, um, or maybe not. It could be Rich. Um, Wednesday, Wayne. Or... Wayne on Wednesday evening. Like him not, eh? Keith might Thursday. Be, might be Pete and I on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, we might pop up with one. Might be three of us. Or, or it's Thursday. On YouTube. Yeah. Well, that's it. We're going to get spoiled. Be boring though, because it's just going to be no yeah. sound. It's, it's, three of us what, walking around. It's a workshop move around. Moving stuff around, yeah. Why is that not cotton? Show for guys faster speed. No, Mark, has said, uh, Mark Harvey has said, offer it some black bean sauce. It's very unbalanced as well. See if it runs, if it runs, it's a duck. <laughs> or orange sauce. Oh, yeah. What, did we say what one Paul's in? I did. Mm -hmm. You're not listening to me tonight, are you now? No, he's not. Sorry, did you, you say something in there? I'm listening. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Right, diplomatic, Lewis. This is a busy piece of wood. Mm. It's, it's rather tough. I thought our Brian's tools are blunt. No, I, I shot them all before I started. Yes, I don't think they are, so it's really dry. Nice though. You is one of those timbers, like English oak, that just gets harder mm. and harder the older it gets. It's as hard yeah. as the road dust, but I have to tell you. Andy Clinelli is in. Hi, Andy. Oh. Oh. Andy. Give me a second, guys, because the drop loss just appeared. Andy, oh. hello, Yep. Hello. Hello. Welcome Andy. aboard. Hey. Hey, hello, guys. Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Good morning, Stephanie. Well, Luke, see, that gave me a half decent cut at all. You didn't give Steve a chance to see Mark's rabbit. Oh, you should tap, Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. Steve, Steve yeah. Mark's rabbit. You have to. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You have to look at this. Isn't that a nice rabbit? Mark's got. He's just. Go on, then, Mark. Show us this uh, thing. A bit more like a rubber Looks duck. Like... <laughs> oh, get yeah, no, That's only six of us then. <laughs> It's That's exactly what it each of us away, individually when we first showed it. Oh, right, sorry. No prompting at all, Steve. No oh, prompting at all. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. And rabbits. Oh, okay. Backside does not stick out like that. We, we, we even said it was a rabbit. It's not a duck. And mm. Steve still thought it was a rubber duck. Rubber ducky? He's making Easter, Easter ducks. Easter ducks. Are well, they going to be popular because they can't make rabbits? <laughs> evening, all anyway. How is everybody? Good evening, Steve. Yeah, good evening. Nice to see you. To see you. Good evening, everybody in the chat. is a piece of you, Steve. Mm. Is it? it is a piece of you, but, and nice. it's as hard as the road. Brian oh, chose so. ash, and he was going to burn it and colour it, and the chat chose you, because he, and he gave him a piece of cherry as well to choose from, but, you know. They chose the you. They chose, chose the you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they chose the you, it's a torture of a thing to cut. <laughs> That's probably why. Now, Wendy, it says, so is it a duck then? No, Wendy. Well, it's, it's meant to be, to be a rabbit. But uh, Mark's just practicing making shapes. It's meant, it's meant to be one of those. There's the link. Look at this, my own photo of a hair. Well, I shan't go to the video and look now because it, it'll take me away from here. Right, let's, uh, let's put a mortise in the bottom of this. And then I'll finish the foot. When it's got its ears on, it'll look like a rabbit. <laughs> when it's got its ears on, it will lie. Look like a duck with rabbit's ears. I can't believe that. Look like a duck with rabbit's ears. You need to have a rounder back side. 
Oh no. Around, <laughs> around the backside. <laughs> He's around her butt. <laughs> Listen, we're enough talk about butts today. <laughs> Dave Rosie said, Gerard, the French turner. As a chef, does it look like a rabbit or a duck? <laughs> Wendy says it looks like a duck. I'm going off you, Dave. You only live 20 miles away. Well, this thing is hard. Yeah, is it overly dry? It happened with you. Could have soaked it in water for 10 days. Might have helped. Yeah. Once it's hard, it stays hard. Doesn't. Just keep, just keep sharpening the chisels. On your <laughs> yeah, this is well of a pro, AJ. Scoot. Make a dovetail. Oh. Did you see that already? Right? Yeah, yeah camera, we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can see better before. You could see it better before. Yeah, we yeah, can just see your hand. Yeah, hands in the way now. But don't listen to your earworms. You know. <laughs> no. no oh, still can't uh, see. Just a thought, oh, Brian. Do you need yeah. any? Do you need any direction with this, by the way? Hey, Jock. Hmm. Not the man. Do you want a sketch? I think, I think Brian's hairs. losing his hair there, people. <laughs> you can say he's got a bit of a shiny spot there. <laughs> <laughs> when you look up, Brian, you can't see it. When you look down, we can. <laughs> right, is that better now? Can you That's see? Better now. Yes. yes. Yeah, we can better. see fine. Nice to see you got your safety glasses on. Right, that'll do. I still haven't found Mark's safety Sorry, glasses guy. from when he visited. Billy Brown's Billy. Just joined. Hi, Billy. Hi, oh, Billy. Billy. Evening, Billy. <coughs> Sorry, he's late. We're not late, Billy. Nobody's late. I'm not sure if that's the right size. <laughs> Got a bigger check. Of course I have. I got him. Don't need ten to be bigger than. Yeah, it'll be close enough, I think. It'll be close enough. So, a little kind of OG shape. Just need to make a little foot now. Just blend this foot in a little bit better. Uh, yes, Douglas, it would take you off the link of what you're watching to another YouTube video. So go and watch that video after you've watched the Brian. Or, or, just, or just disappear, it's fine. Yeah, go and watch it now, Douglas. Well, all you have to do is click on the link, watch the video, and then come out of that link and you come straight back into this. I'll just make a little foot there, just because I want to. Make my life difficult for when I'm standing. Copper wood turning is in. There we go. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, Rob. Rob. Can that stop the roof again, Pete? I just want to make this corner a little rounder. Oh, that is terrible. Now, Terry Bartlett says, I'm not sure what's bigger, Brian's patch or Terry's badge. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! I think Brian's patch. And CDA wood turning has joined us. Good evening. You've got a little bit of a vibration yeah. going on now. Slow that down a bit. You've got 80 people watching, Brian. See, can we get a, see, can we get a nice finish cut here now? Better if you keep the cut. There we go. I've never done it, but I suspect if you were to cut a square inch or cubic inch of you heartwood, a cubic inch of you softwood, uh, sapwood, um, there would be a very big difference in weight. 
Which is why you make such good bows. Because there's so few bow has hardwood and sapwood because they have two completely different properties. Which is the heavier part? The hardwood. It's really hard, yeah. I'll tell you what, it's hard. It is hard. You can get that cut at all. But anyway. Ooh, Philip Jason wants, wants to know what the cause of the vibration is. I think it's just the different weight, uh, weights that's in the wood. It's all the there's, different knots in there as well, all the different eyes. There's loads eyes of different and, knots. Mm. And, so there's fairly open grain bit there. Grain. And then there's a dense bit of grain there. And you've got a, and then a bit of white, open, but there's a knot there, there as well. It's going to be a very different weight to the yep. dark wood. So this side is, uh, the grain's pretty close together. And on this side, the grain is pretty far apart. Mm. So Not this side will be lighter than slightly. this side. So that's what it's making, that's kind of what's making it out of balance a little bit. But there, uh, I'm going to put my sand down, my hood on. My power hood, this GSP power hood. So well, as I can Lewis sand this. <laughs> Lewis has suggested, why don't you chew up the headstock side to help the balance? Uh, in brackets, top of the bow. Uh, well, it's pretty true, I think. Sandy Red Talk Resin and Wood Creations has joined us. Good evening, David. John has yeah. come in as well. Hi, Bring John. Us over here. Hi, John. Use my nurse or sander. Evening, John. So, Sir Simon, hope my nurse or sander. <coughs> I'll use a small one today. Turn the speed down a bit. Mind you, it's only at 700, so it's only at about 600. I'm going to see if we get a bar. Grit gets all the tool marks out, I mean. He's got a house book, I just use that. <laughs> What's the lowest grit you can get? Um, 10, I think. Ten out. Yeah, I think it might be 10. I've got some uh, therapy grit. Got some... Is it not 20 grit you have down? It might be 20, I can't remember. It's either 20 or 30. You better have a switch to strike alone, wouldn't it? There we go. <sighs> I hope so. So there are some tool marks in there, but they're just very fine ones, so we'll just blend them away. Louis says he meant a push cut across the lip of the ball as it's out of balance, balance some. Across here? No, across the face. Across here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. At least we don't have to look at his ball patch. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but we can't take the Mickey then, can we? Small mercy. I've got to move that overhead camera. Why is that mm. like that? I never used to be like that. It just shows all your head like Steve's. I redecorated my... <laughs> and I maybe moved the camera. Because I had it set so you couldn't see my baldy head. Not that I care. Right. So what colour have you gone to then? White? Yeah, white, yeah. I thought it was white before. It was white before, but then it was all sort of red and brown and all sorts of colours when I had that explosion. Burnt orange. Uh, Burnt orange, yeah. yeah. I had a horrible feeling my striker wasn't working there. Look at this. But it's okay because I'm well protected anyway. So are we. Yeah, you're miles away. Thankfully. And uh, Wendy's asking, do you ever power sand? Yes, Wendy, I do. 
I'll probably power sand it inside as well. I like to use an Ursa sander on the outside uh, and power sand the inside. Hmm. Which boy works has said, I think as long as the years pass, you begin to shrink a little, Brian. Which leads to the camera being above your head. Oh, is that what it is, eh? Yeah, it's because you're old. Oh. <laughs> Again. I've shrunk a little bit since I was younger. You can't shrink any more, Terry. Won't be nothing left of you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Someone's knocking at your door. Oh, that's the Hobbit door. That doesn't want to go anywhere, but... Look, I've just commented, no one's mentioned how dangerous you dust can be. Um, you dust can be toxic. Um, can. That's why I've got my extractor on full blast. It's on double motor. I've got my also, GSP like, power um, on. Walnut and many other woods, you can build up uh, sensitivity to it. So you can end up getting rashes and stuff from the dust. Which um, you don't get to start nice. with, but over years it does build up. Such a natural thing, but. Mm. Don't chew the leaves of the yew tree. Yeah, but it can be made. Of, the yew tree is uh, useful for medicines as well, though. What is? Is well, it yeah. not? Yeah, chemotherapy like, style. Like, oh, like lots of <laughs> yeah. other poisons, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Which is toxic. Chemotherapy stuff. Yeah. A lot of trees are used in chemotherapy drugs. Yep. I am really old, Todd. Well, this is true, yeah. That is old, Brian, look, me, guys. Brian looks old. So Lewis, you um, yeah. is known to be a toxic tree. It will kill livestock if it's um, eaten by them, the leaves are eaten by them. There's a few animals that are resistant to it, but not many. Um, and it was made famous because it was noted by, um, I think it was Pliny the Elder, it might have been the younger. You should ask why he was there. Um, that red wine stored in new flask killed the soldiers that carried it. <laughs> um, and it's been discovered since that the acid in the wine, or acids generally, brings out the taxium B in you and makes it more toxic. Hmm. So it's just been known to be poisonous for a long time. So beware if your wife starts giving you red wine for your trouble. In a U flask. Just don't make <laughs> yeah. Don't make no goblets out of it. You'll be alright. Hmm. Yeah, it looks <clears throat> goblets look really nice out of you though, don't they? They do. They do, yeah. Come with a health warning, but yeah. <laughs> and a little bit there, I'm just not happy with it all. I can't remember who it was, but somebody in the chat a while back was determined to make his mother in law lots of cutlery and um, <laughs> oh, it was uh, out of you. Uh, uh, DIY Dark Matter. Oh, dark matter <laughs> yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah dark, it was dark. The Dark Man. Adam, I love wood turning is in. Good evening, Good Adam. Evening, Adam. Adam. So I've just gone back a bit because I'm not happy with this rim at all. And I want to make sure it is right. Mm -hmm. Well, before I move on, it's still just a tiny little bit just there. I want to get rid of Do what Lewis suggested and, and what Nick Agar recommends and just um, cut a half inch off the face of it to give you your actual rim. Give you something to sight up and work to. You think that's not going to be my actual run? You think that's that far? Well, it's, it's, it's going to be a sixteenth of an inch off there at least, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Eh? And just by taking that cut, just on the first half inch, just to give you your edge of your rim, it gives you a better sight line on what's going on on the edge of it. Where you're going to go? It. Yeah.
just want a little cut and eat him. Yeah, just, yeah, you don't have to go far in, just... Uh, no, just quarter inch. Just enough for the eye to get the, get the edge right. Susie Swift has a question. Did you mention the size of the piece of you? Ten and a half inches by two and a quarter. Ten and a half by two and a quarter. Thank you. Jump from New Jersey. Gone in about an inch there, so that's you coming here. Evening, John. Evening, Susie. Give me a better idea of the run there. Happy with that. Let's get it one up to 240 grip. So 128. Oh, sorry, 180. Let me speed down a little bit. Our Wood Creations has joined us. Hey, guys. Good evening. Hello, Murray. Good evening. Evening, Barry. Hello, evening. Murray. Evening, all. Made famous by Sixth of Dot Green. A bit before my time, that is, Brian. Only just met. Oh. Harsh thing. Sorry, no, harsh. I remember when it started. Yeah, so cut. Susie's like him, they don't do inches. What's it in metric? What's what in metric? Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, jeez. Some people are just too fussy. It's 230, 40-ish. 280. By around about 60-ish. 280 mil wide of that diameter. And 50, 48 mil depth now. Happy with that? I have to make that uh, can a little bit deeper than that. I think that's all right. Right. This little <laughs> foot I put on here, this little step. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, we got it. Looks fine to us. It's your base. It is. Any tips on how to sand that better? How do you get this? Fold a, really fold a sand and just keep your chisel and go straight in with it oh, yeah. to get and then get a really nice cut you don't have to sand yeah. it. If, it if it's cutting then skew if it's sanding then as steve said fold it in half but don't do push dry because you've got to cut an edge so how about using my skew now just to take that very gently just... very gently just gently ease the skew chisel in the point yeah. of it yeah. Think so? Very gently. Yeah. Just be careful not to overdo it. Yeah, just touch it. Yeah, yeah. You should get a nice finish then without having to sand it too much. Right in the corner. Nice, that's it, nice feathery cuts. Yeah. Mark Harvey's asking, are we allowed to ask if the U bowl could be oiled? Yes, you could oil it. No, Danish oil really or like lemon it. oil. What's that looking like, Brian? Just a little bit more, I think, that will be gone. Okay. Just do it very carefully, though. Yep. Yeah, I often use oil on you because it's um, it's got enough shine in itself, to be honest. Yeah. And I actually quite like to finish you with um, some damage in it. I don't like... Yeah, it's nice when it's all knotted and twirly and gnarled. Yeah, if you've got oh, a flat yeah. spot on it or a bit of an inclusion or something... Then oil is much better than wax in those cases. So, for that reason, I use oil quite a lot. Lewis has just said some people get ridiculed for using a skew like that. <laughs> yes, Lewis, like, but some people use a skew like, like that all the time. Like I was going to suggest, like, I was going like to suggest, stable. Brian, you use the skew the proper way and put oh, a cut yeah. in. Okay. Both angles. Yeah. 
That should save you having to sand right in and then rounding off the base. You don't really want to round it off, do you? Brian, you've been running for just over one beer. The cap's coming off the second. Oh, I know. I'll just give that a little sand up there. That'll be fine. That's one. 240 grit next. That'd be fine, Danny. Oh, no, that's 180. It's in the wrong place. There we go. I'm running out of 240 grit, guys. What am I going to do? Yeah. You got should have about Cut some. 200 meters of it. <laughs> Cut some, yeah. Anyway, Lewis, you're too good on those things, so we have to have something to ridicule you with. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Can't take a mix somehow, Lewis. Lemon oil or Danish oil, Mark, I reckon. Um, yeah, I think probably lemon oil. Just oil, no Yorkshire grit then, is that what you're saying? Oh, anything to stop Joe singing, that's what the chat seemed oh, to want. Oh, gee, thanks. Oh no, sorry, Joe, oh, forgot you were there. I think, I think we're going to Yorkshire grit this. <coughs> we are. Yorkshire grit it, and then you yeah. can run some mess wipe over it, it and then oil it. Yeah, you can wipe yep. the grit off. Right. That's me up to 240 grit. Let's turn this power hood off. Take it off. Dave, is that used deep crack in lemon oil before. Dave, I use lemon oil on all my utility pieces that are going to be stacked up in a shop. Because when it smells nice, people pick them up. If they pick them up, they buy them. Yeah. Funny. Why, Susie wants to know, if, question, does anybody use boiled linseed oil on such items? No, don't even own any. No. No, not Actually, oil. I do. I've got some boiled linseed oil up here. I do. I do use it when I'm oil painting. But... It's not an oil that I like particularly. Um, no, it's a bit thick and gloomy. It's very common in the in the states. I know. Um, but in my choice, I wouldn't particularly favour it. A nice piece of wood. Looks lovely. I have to say. Yeah. Nice. Always oh, is. Lovely. Looks lovely. Yeah, you choose not. Even if there's more white than, than orange in it, it's still lovely. Bit of a crack across there. Archbot seems to think that there's no US maker of the lemon oil. There's only chestnut. That's he's aware of. <clears throat> Chestnut. I don't think there's that much in this country, to be honest. We've got chestnut, and mm. Hampshire Sheen have now come up with um, citrus. Citrus. citrus yeah. Burnishing oil. Burnishing oil, which I have. Well, I've, I saw it when Martin was developing it, um, <clears> so <throat> I happened to drop it into the shop. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks very interesting. But on that visit to the shop, I bought myself a new tin of lemon oil, so I haven't really got the space for it at the moment. Mm. I will get some of that. Mark Harvey wants to know if lemon oil is made from the skin of lemons. No, Mark, it's made from <laughs> lemongrass. Yeah. The burnishing lemon stuff from Martin is only a matte finish anyway, isn't it? It's not a shine. Yeah. Right. The lemon oil generally is quite a, a, a sheen rather than a shine. Yeah, yeah. Just give that a second just to flash off a wee bit and get some of the... Move the mic down, Mark, uh, Brian. Sorry, mate. We we'll just let that dry off a little bit. It's a bit <clears throat> fumey. Mm -hmm. Solvents in it are dissipating, so got it all my lathe. Ah, gee. Oh, cleaning the lathe again. Oh, no. Todd of Glencoe has asked, what about something like Marlin's friction polish? Yeah, I suppose. Lino's in, by the way. Lino's in. I've, Natalia De Leo. Sure. And, uh, hey, Lino. It depends hey, on the Joe. individual, what the individual wants on a finish. Hey, Joe. A high shine or... I actually put sanding seal on it this time. <laughs> <laughs> With the friction polish. It's one of those things that works is, better on a small piece. Which on is a not large like surface, it. it does have a tendency to get a bit streaky. And also with the friction polish, 
you need to build up heat and you yeah, and does you not don't like want, heat. You don't want heat with you. No. So it will try make try it and work. avoid it if you can. That's why I was sanding it at quite a slow speed as well. And not putting any pressure on the sanding pads. I think your lemon oil is Hampshire Sheen, isn't it, Brian? Uh, lemon oil, no, it's chestnut. Chestnut, chestnut. No, chestnut. I don't think Hampshire Sheen make a lemon oil. Hampshire Sheen make, make a no, soil. Oh, sorry, they don't make yeah, a lemon oil. Chestnut. That's why it's called citrus, because it's... I've probably well, pointed out that um, any surat-based bad for utility pieces, because it turns white with water contact. Of course, this being you and toxic, it's not a utility piece, it's an art piece. It's just going to be for looking at. Yeah, so, so speaking of the low class, it's sold as mm -hmm. an art piece. A little bit. Yeah. Yorkshire gets in. Oh. Hi, Glenn. Oh, look at that. He just came in as I start to use the Yorkshire grit. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Morning, Glenn. And be soft as your face. Morning, Glenn. With live brown. The crowd. Glenn, are you getting that in stereo? <laughs> Oh Standing ovation, Joe. You've got 88 people in. So for those that don't know how to use Yorkshire grit, I'm sure there's none of you out there. Well, maybe there is one or two. Susie's just appeared, isn't she? Um, so apply the Yorkshire grit with the lace stationery. Give it a, a reasonable coat. You don't need too much. Um, tub lasts a long time and it's fairly cheap to buy, so no excuse for not having it. Use it like you stole it. Oh, yeah, he's like he's stolen, <laughs> or somebody else is paying. Uh, and then you just work it in for about three to four minutes at a speed somewhere below 500. If you can manage it, 500 is the, the slowest speed on some lists. So you just work it in until it starts to break down. You can actually feel it in your fingers when it's actually when it's breaking down. It feels really gritty at the beginning, and then it's slowly starts to get more smooth. Or smooth air, more smooth. Mm. It sounded like it came from Norfolk then. War. <laughs> <laughs> and once it gets smoother, you know you're just about there. And this should take your piece from the 240 on the dry sanding up to somewhere around a thousand. And basically it's wet sanding or sanding with a paste. So no dust, hence they be able to remove the mask and everything. Especially on you, if you were sanding up to six hundred or something, that'll yeah. be pretty. Uh, and the reason it's the toxic. reason it's kind of too we go to two forty <laughs> is because your lungs can actually cope with the dust at two forty grit. It's it's grits above that, like four, six, eight, a thousand, whatever. Um, that the dust particles become too fine for the body to cope with and they stay kind of lodged in your lungs. So that's why this just, paste was developed. Just so thinking, Brian. It, it's because it took 10 minutes for the noise of the extractor to annoy me. Mm. And then I can turn it off and use the Yorkshire grit instead. Well, well, that's, well that's the way you, you think it would be. That's fine. <laughs> Just so thinking, Brian, you you've actually sanded sealed that as well as gritted it. So if we take the grit off with methylated spirits, will the oil still work? No, I'm not I'm not oiling it. I'm not, oh, oiling, not oiling the it. outside. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna polish the outside. Oh, are you gonna polish it, right? I might I might uh, oil the inside, which will be a different yep. finish. So the outside looks slightly different to the inside. Just to add a little bit more interest. Just uh, as well, you is one of those woods that really, really does well with Yorkshire grid microphone. Yeah. Well, we could give that a dose of microphone too. Roy, the, the earworms today are Terry from TJ Turning, Joe Senior from Yorkshire Grid, Pete from Twisted Trees, Steve from SK Crafts, and myself, Mark the Gentleman with Turner. From Butte. The rabbit the Turner. The, the rabbit from Turner Butte. from Butte. The dude from Butte. <laughs> <laughs> Duck Turner extraordinaire. Who has Duck uh, Turner? <laughs> yeah. On the question yeah, I, of the rabbit Turner, I'll duck out of that conversation. I think we should. Oh, if it looks like, oh, a, it looks like a duck and sounds like a duck, it's probably a rabbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to call it the accidental Duck Turner. 
Ah, oh, well, never mind, Mark. Sorry. Mate. Right, that's breaking down pretty well now. So what we'll do is we'll get a clean right. piece of cloth. Robert's got a question. Is this for all you uh, that do this finishing process where you complete the entire bottom prior to hollowing? Do you guys yeah. ever try to sign your piece once finished? What do you mean, Robert, by like a laser or something or etching? I always, or? I always sign my pieces after they're finished. Never yeah, sign I, I it while do I'm after doing. I'm finished as well. You laser yeah. yours, then you, you too? Yeah, yeah. Ryan and Steve. So do they? does the finishing process interfere with it? It no. can do. Laser. Yeah, does it? Uh, the, yeah, it can do. Um, sometimes on, on on some wood, it just seems to reflect the laser or something. I don't know. It just. Mm. Yeah, well, Robert's saying laser, you, laser pyrography or pen. All you need to do is turn it up a little bit. Right. Zombie right. lasers is, but he's got yeah. a laser breaker. He's got a laser breaker. Which he uses in the tailstock, which is probably one of the best ways I was I've thinking ever of doing seen. That too. Yeah, I was thinking of getting a laser bagger. He actually has I a... I might get one uh, of those one day. Uh, Zed has a, has a 3D printed mount that he made for it as well, for the laser picker. So if you buy a laser picker, you can always get the mount from Zed. Or he'll send you the file for it. Huh? I think he said to me once. Alex has just bought a laser engraver. Well done, Alex. I think, Alex. I, think well done. I may have used too much grip. <laughs> Good job you're not paying for it. <laughs> well, this is true, too. Some of that clean piece of cloth. In fact, let's... Let, no, we'll not. <laughs> I was going to say I'll throw the boat out, but... We'll not push the boat out, but I'll not... Not yet. So it's actually starting to shine a whole lot there with the just the Yorkshire grit itself. That's the the bees waxing it, of course. They so it's, a real, it's a real soft shine, so it's not a finish, guys. Seeing that's come up so nice, you're going to use the the, the uh, extra fine microphone. Yeah, yeah, I've got loads, got loads of time. It, it? It'll shine up nice. That'll let's, uh, make it let's... glisten. So Dave said this. that he only tends to use the microphone rather than the original. If you only use the microphone, mm. David, then you need to really sand up to about a thousand grit before you use the microphone. Yeah. Yep. Because that's not microphone is not going to take it from two forty to the two thousand grit very very nicely. Won't be as successful as doing it the way I've just done it. Same as working up through the grade of um, abrasives. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You're just trying to take a shortcut there, and it's not going to, it, it won't be as effective, I don't think. It's not designed if you would have jumped from it, 120 it? to 400, it wouldn't work. That's, 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 that's just my opinion. Oh, prepare yourselves for a new song, the microphone song. Oh, you oh, got one, have you? No, I'm only joking. I just oh, thought thank you goodness for that. <laughs> thank Blimey, for that. We all, <laughs> we all, I nearly had no earworms then. <laughs> Gone. In fact, that is the actual reason for going straight to microphone and not using grit. Ah, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that is shocking. Up a notch, Pete. Up a notch. <laughs> Did anybody hear Glenn laughing in the background there? Yeah. Yeah, just heard him. <laughs> yeah. Glenn's having a canary in the background there. Or a parrot. So this is the same same process. We're going to break down the little granules. It just takes a minute or two. What's the speed at the oh. moment, Brian? Uh, it's just under six, just about 600. It's probably maybe too far and much. I shall turn it down a little bit. Get it back under 500 again. Thanks for that, Pete. I forgot to turn the speed down. So it's, it's, uh, Roy asked what, what the speed was. So when you're applying the grit, below 500 is um, optimal. So if you can manage it, somewhere around 400. But if you can't, 500 will be fine. I think most lace these days that are manufactured kind of start around 500. Unless they're... 
got a good variable speed. They're suggesting you do all your polishing at 666 RPM. Yeah, could do. <laughs> yeah, I scared myself the other day when I was on 600, 665 um, subs. And then it clicked over overnight in the 666. <laughs> <laughs> But thankfully, it has jumped a bit since then, so. We're heading up towards so 700. Said, as wood or as a highly flammable use, use shop towels, have to be disposed of carefully. How is it shop... Oh, I've lost it. How is shop towels with sanding sealer and Yorkshire grit on it? Are they also they're, they're, flammable? Yeah. Um, no. No. The not, oil in Yorkshire is a mineral oil, um, which is flammable when it's wet. Um, the problem comes with cotton mixed with polymerizing oils. Correct. Um, they generate uh, heat and can cell combust. Um, I've not yet seen a problem with kitchen towel and uh, polymerizing oils. No, no, my, my normal routine with, with the kitchen roll is uh, and I use it for whatever Danish oil or um, any of the oils that we use um, and the Yorkshire grit etc uh, I take them from here and I have a, a, a blue bucket on the floor that they go in and then uh, they get put into a wheelie bin outside that's what happens to mine and I've not had any problems so far yeah I don't think it affects paper in the same way Although I did, I have had a bale of hay spontaneously combust before now. So the yeah. thing is, don't put oils on with hay. Yeah. Horsey people will understand that. Or country folk will understand that. Even, yeah. even I've even known um, bonfire stacks to... Build up yeah. and catch compost fire. bins do catch fire as well. Compost yeah. bins will, will catch supposed fire. supposed to turn them regular. Yep, so the heat, heat doesn't build up too much. So I'm just going to turn the speed up again because I feel that's enough with the grit. Yeah, Glenn actually said just before you said that to turn the speed yeah. up. Yeah, that's a bit too far. So that's about 700 revs. Oh no. That's on six, 668 revs. Get it up a bit. <laughs> it's the neighbors at least then. It's close. Get it up to 900. Yeah, I'll turn it up for you, Terry. Thank you. Just for you, mate. Just burnishing it now, you see, because you've got the, done this job. That'll shine lovely. You polish it. Yeah, it is starting to shine really well. Let's try that. Get that Next. That's without a finish on it. Magic. Yep. No finish yet. <laughs> the finish is coming now. <sighs> My go-to finish is... Oops, that way. I'm sure she toy and food safe. Not open so, by the skew. Yeah, I actually use my skew. Well, I've stopped using the skew now because I keep blunting it. Well, it keeps going blunt, yeah, okay. Yeah, He's dropping on the floor. And then on I the can't, yeah, on the tin, and then I can't use it for cutting out. Cut and paper, can I? When that's blue, oh, right, that's, okay, man, that's no use. So I thought I'd stop you. I thought I'd use a screwdriver instead now. Okay, what cut the timber? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sharpen a screwdriver. Suppose that sharp, you can get a screwdriver. Actually, you'll make a nice beating in part too, isn't it? <laughs> so, so, with this Hampshire sheen, more is uh, less is more, more is less. No, that's not right, less is more. So I'm just making sure there's a fine coat all over it. 
I'm all over the piece. And when so it starts to get a marketing packy, opportunity for Glenn. Uh huh. Get from rough to one twenty. You can stop buying sandpaper. <laughs> yeah. Stop buying sandpaper. Yeah. So that's actually grabbing the towel now. I'm trying to pull it out of my hand. So that's enough of the working of that. So we'll just leave it for a second. There's a little lump there. And I'm going to use a piece of safety cloth from our good friends at. Roy's got a problem. He said he used Amateur Sheen tonight, but he wasn't very happy with it. Oh, Roy, you, pre you press put too much on, mate. Oh, you made a press too hard. You press too hard, you wipe it off again. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. And uh, speed speed matters too, because it, if it gets too hot, kind of. Yeah, just burn it off. You just burn mm. it back off again. So if I just let that. Can so I'll I put another coat on, Roy. I just let the uh, solvents in it dissipate a little bit, and all I'm doing is I'm just going to I'm just holding the cloth just in my thumb there, and I'm just going to touch it against it. There's absolutely no pressure on my fingertips at all. Well, if you've got a problem with your piece with Hampshire Sheen on it, you probably find you put too much on there, which is the common problem. Less is more with Hampshire Sheen. If you've got a problem, if you've got a heat gun, just play that over it, melt it, let it set again and buff it. That should solve the problem and you can then build up as you want from there. And you need to make sure you're sanded. If you're not, you, you're actually gritting. You need to sand up to at least 400 grit and you need to sand and seal it before you apply the Yorkshire grit. I mean, the Hampshire yeah, sheen, 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 sheen yeah. wax. Yeah. And the more, the more, the thinner, not the thinner, if you thin your uh, cellulose sand and sealer down, let it soak in the wood and give it a couple of coats of sand and sealer to really seal the wood before you, because the, the the wax are soak into the wood. The sand and cedar are prevent it soaking so too far into the wood to give you a better shine. You can put one or two coats on, or three coats on, can you? You can put as many, many coats on as you want. Many coats as you like. Yeah, just put the, the more, wax shine up. The more coats you put on, the deeper and richer shine you'll get. Yeah. So I'm just going to do one coat here. Gerard says he prefers wood wax 22. The reason you see so much Hampshire Sheen on lives is because... Pretty much as soon as you put it on there, it gets a, it gets a little bit tacky as you're wiping it on. Mm -hmm. It's ready to buff. Yep. Wax 22 needs you to just leave it for a few minutes to yeah, so let, cool. let the solvents evaporate before you buff it, which means it's um, not so common on lives because that's a, a gap in the video. There you go. Very nice. That's stunning. So there you are, Roy. You've seen how Brian's done that. Try and emulate it on you. We have a little bit of wax piece. stuck in a knot hole there. So we'll just give it a quick blow it and rub it off. <coughs> and I'll just give that one more. Soft and gentle. No pressure at all. Just like the toilet roll. Yep, that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Use a feather, Steve, is that bad? <laughs> I'll do. That's the outside done. It doesn't need any other embellishment than that. Could have put lines on the foot and all sorts of stuff, but it doesn't need it. That's too pretty. Such a beautiful bit of wood. Yeah, that's fine. Just uh, yeah, don't tell for that, mate. Now, let's hope this... this uh... Even a baby. <gasps> Are you books have arrived? Oh. Good evening. Hello, Chris. All right, Chris. The thing we're finishing is, is is all about the preparation work. The more time you spend in getting a good surface, the better finish you'll get mm -hmm. in the long run. Mm -hmm. Oops. Too small. Yep. Yeah, didn't chuck. you make that for the small chuck? I'm just about to find out. I think you did. Yeah, I did. You did. 
He said it was for the small joke. I'll find out now. Callum Turnbull is in. I oh, know Callum. Oh, Callum. It's a new name. I didn't. Oh well, back on. Three more to shoot him. It will still got the, buttons. I've got, still, still uh, got the play on. I've got the jaws far, open far too much. Hmm. It will fit. How much? But, how, what's the what's the difference between between the, the mortise and the jaws you got on the lathe at the moment? Is it quite a bit to come out, or is it just a smidgen? But you can always just nah, take just, a little bit just, off. Just just a little bit. I just take it off. Just take a little bit off and just scoop. It'll be fine. Rather than try and stretch the small ones. Yeah, I'd rather or not. it probably. <laughs> I'd rather Sorry. not do that because it's no. not good policy. They're open too far. They're not holding properly anyway, are they? No, That's correct. Yeah. As I've already said, if you can get it with your faceplate ring, you'll get to see the gap that you need. Jennifer's Grafting Creations. Oh, you can't see oh, it camera. Evening, folks. Don't you just love an extra day off? Oh, I want, not for me, no, no. Jennifer, Who got an extra deal? Jennifer. I'm I get over 360 days a year, Jennifer, so. Yeah. Every leap year we get an extra day, don't we, Pete? Yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, that's the only time we get an extra day off, because we're off every day. So I'm just going to use my skew here, just to take a little tiny bit off of that, just about a mil and a half, which is going to ruin my finish, but no. Well, it won't if you go in gender with it. We've got a mirror finish and just right in tight. Look at that. Man. Sorry, Brian, don't worry. We can still see your hair. Well, <laughs> right, well. <laughs> you just concentrate on doing the job. We Shut don't mind down. looking. We don't mind looking. I was looking at the camera to see. Can you see the picture? Yeah, well, we can't. We can see your head, but just carry on. You can't see my head at all. Every time you look up, you take your head out of the camera. Brian, we can see you, Ed, but stop looking at the screen and concentrate. Yeah, do it probably. Yeah. That is me. Nah. No, you never be as bad as me. And what we'll do is, just to be on, uh, just to be. Well, that's Mark. That's <laughs> Mark. 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 Jennifer. He's on Mark. He's on Jennifer's account. Good evening, Hello, Mark Stroughton. <laughs> He's a Mark. <laughs> so we'll just use the spare chuck to make sure it's going to fit this time. I wish I hadn't done that now. Eh? All three of them, Blin. I wish I hadn't done that. Brian, because... we'll wait while you finish that off. Just refinish that bit. Yeah. yeah. Give it a gentle sound, Brian. That'd be right. <sighs> You'll be disappointed if you don't, so get it done. Yeah, finish it now, we'll wait. Yeah, just use a bit of 240. Just use that, just to this edge. Should use 400. Nah, it needed a bit, a bit more than that there. That's good, I'll do it. Just where I've cut that. I'm going well, to if put you, um, some... If you said to yours regret that, then Joe can sing an extra song. Oh, yes. I, don't, I don't think you need to yours regret I don't think I've done no, that much I'm damage. I just need to put a little uh, bit more polish on it, I think. Brian, you're my hero. Brian, you're missing the fact that Glenn's in the same room as Joe. Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar, eh? too late now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too late now. So just look at the family right. in there. <laughs> and then spin the lathe up again. Again, just even though I've just put that on there, just no pressure. Can't see from my head again, I suppose. Always the boys ask, what was it, Brian? It's you. It's a piece of English U, which is as hard as the road. That should do now. Ian, Ian in the shed just joined us. Hello, Ian. That should be good oh, now, yeah. I hope. Mark right, Strollins right. just joined us now. Hello, Mark. Let's, let's turn it round. He's on the it right fits, one this time, is he? Or is that Jennifer or Mark? It fits the, it fits the FC3, Chuck, so if it doesn't fit this one. Did we say we Ian in the shed? We did. Did we say hello to him? 
We did. Sorry, I was distracted by my lovely husband. Not the Glen. The Glen. I don't know what he said, Benny. Say, just being nice about him today. Oh, so it's Monday. She's after something. It's time. Oh, right. <laughs> time Wait to the end of the week. <laughs> Wait to the end of the week. I'm gonna speak yeah, down about just on that and see what. Okay, okay. He did with the most beautiful That's salmon okay. dinner tonight. Yeah. No, we say I wait till women's hearts for a. No, it's the way to the yeah. Bella's heart. Yeah, throw her something. Yeah, throw her something. Gam yourself. <laughs> so we'll remove this ring. I always find it's between the second and third ribs is usually best. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> I know there are some some who leave this ring on. Keith, um, for one, he leaves the the ring on, but. I don't see the point of that. Uh, well, <laughs> in, case in case it, it flies off, off the lever, he says, but in case it flies you can always off, screw you can know, remount it. Yeah, it's always but... nice to have confidence in your work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's the only turner I've ever seen do it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't know why I don't know why I didn't leave it on then. Why didn't I leave it on? That's what I asked myself. Each to their own. Where is my uh, want a piece goggles? of metal flying across the workshop? Well, it may well Along have been that he had a piece jump off before and he couldn't remount it in the right place, so. Take yep. the precaution. Yeah. Right, this three years ball gauge needs a little bit of a sharpen, I think, so we'll just do that. Yeah. Camera to the pro edge right away, that click click. Put that down. I see you've got all your colours out ready, Bright to paint. Yeah, I was going to ask because I was going to do the picked. ash and nobody picked it. I'm disappointed now. He's not bitter at all. Before he starts not bitter, yeah. no. <laughs> None of us are oh yeah, good man, Pete. Just to let you know, Brian, none of us were going to let you use a bit of ash tonight. That's all right. I'll do it tomorrow. Not, it. Not even the chat. And put a video in. He's all Even's bored with ice display, today. Display case of embellishing waxes. Yeah. Pretty That's so you can see them in the cupboard. Got more so when they're setting up like that, you can see them. Yeah, I understand. I understand. The, the issue you is... The that, you see a label that says embarrassing wax display stand. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so Gerard's got to go. Just, just oh, so it's, see, around. It's, just, it's just a bit of downpipe, waste, wastewater downpipe, Hi, Gerard. with a slit in it, so as the tin can set in. But unfortunately, the solver is still in the old-fashioned tin. It was made for these ones, Link, so you just sat in. That's how I made it. Oh, we ought to make them. And they're, they're just hot glued in the middle there, just stuck on a bit of hot glue. Mm -hmm. Very posh. It's good. E easy peasy. It's posh, isn't it? Blimey. Mean. Just a bit. So back to here. You Turn see what? <laughs> yeah, I saw. I'm not reading it down. Bored, so <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? Where's the Yorkshire? I'll do horses, I'll um, Yorkshire Grit mm. sticker. Oh, you took it it's off. Down next to the that SK way. Crafts one. Just see the corner sticking out. Yeah, yeah just see the corner. Ah, the one behind out. the piece. Yeah. yeah. It's on the headstock. You can only see it when he takes the work off. Okay. I can't see my sticker there. Douglas has asked a question. Brian, why have you not labels on each colour? Guess, guess who's uh, tool rest is too high. Uh, yours? yours. Mine again. So am I leaving a, am I leaving a, a wide rim on this or a narrow rim or? Why, you, buddy? What do you think, guys? I would leave it about an inch and a half and then see where you go after you've got the first few cuts out. Yeah. Keep Don't we get these used? So if you go too thin with it, it'll go over eat and crack. It doesn't need to be thin though, does it? It's quite a big bowl. Right? No, it doesn't need to be thin. You want a nice chunky bowl. Well, I don't wood. want it. I don't want it overly thin. No. Sometimes I go as far as to leave about an inch and a half, two inches of rim, and not polish it, but uh, sand it up and. Um, hmm. 
chuck some mess or something on it just to have a look at it so i want to keep it wide or go down narrower yeah with, good idea. with this being a piece of you and it's being a decorative piece i'd be tempted to go for an extremely wide rim with a ridiculously small bowl in the center just to show off the wood maximum maximum impact with the wood let's have a look at well, about the size start with that anyway, can you really? That, that bit of wood you've got in the center there you that start would be that. the size of the bowl. Oh, that's yeah. a bit small. The, the rest of it would be rim. That would be a, a real that's showpiece. Nasty. There's a nasty bit of a crack just here. Oh, yeah, won't worry about that. It's natural. And it goes all the way over the other side. There's nothing you can that's do about it. So you want to make sure your rim is in further than that, don't you? He's yeah, very stable, so. Rim has to come to the air, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, Thanks. take it, like Mark said, take the middle, take that middle out first and see what it looks like. You, you can go one extreme to the other. You can go massive rim, tiny bowl, or decent size, half decent size rim with a decent bowl. But I think being you, I'm thinking uh, perfect. Yeah. And it is decorative as well because it is you. So. You could put a you could put a slight concave on the. On the rim as well. On the rim, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Make it look that make it look slightly bigger than what it already is. I think curves always show grain better than flat. So um, mm, they do. well always is a terrible word because every rule's absolutely solid until you break it. Okay. Um, no, that's good. Sometimes well, like on yours earlier, Terry, breaking the rule and cutting the wrong way is a yeah. solution to a problem. It's not always a solid rule. No. So, get it flat, spray some mess on it, decide what you want to keep. There's something bouncing my chisel there. I think it's a knot. That's that knot. Yeah. There's one there, and there's that big knot there. Not, it's a knot on the rim as it's well. It's just bouncing that, bouncing the hell on my chisel just there. Steve, beat me to it. <laughs> what? We get a spammer. We get a spammer, do we? So I'm just trying to make this a little concave. Zombie got to him as well. <laughs> yeah, good old Zed. Well done, Steve Zed. Dele Steve deleted his message. Zed timed him out. Timed him out. And I you hit him. him. So we all got him. As de la vista, maybe. It's uh, you, Bailey. Chris, it's piece of you. <clears throat> Bailey said it sounds like pine. Well, it kind of is, actually. Yeah. It's a softwood, evergreen species. I'm just cutting that just tiny bit, little bit in the middle there with that there. With the uh, left wing. So now we're going to try and take the ball out from here. Just there. Got a bigger gauge, Andy. A bigger gauge. Yeah. Yep. Might help. Half inch, Robert Sorvey. There's a lot of spammers about lately like, on these chats. Yeah, they always come up. They always seem to appear in the new year. Hmm. To start of Christmas, it's like they make a concerted effort. That's them Russians. 
Hodgepodge right, just said when he comes to the UK, he's going to bring an extra suitcase for you. Yeah, if you come over, you can always find you. Bring your chainsaw. And pretty much every yew tree is marked with a large stone tower with windows at the top. Yeah, stained glass windows usually. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much every churchyard in the UK has got a yew tree in it. Yeah, thousands of them. There are. Churchyards keep you because it keeps away the devil. That's what they say. Oops. Keeps the devil out. Uh -huh. Although I have been through a few churchyards, so I didn't see anything problems. <laughs> I was always told I was a little devil. I told you before, Terry, don't keep talking about that grave robbing incident. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. You guys are funny. They use some nice oak in those caskets. It's all right there. Oh, what about the body parts? Oh, I only put them back. <laughs> you put them back. Yeah, you just just leave them in the hole. Just toss them back in the bottom of the hole before you backfill it. Yeah, the only problem is now they're making the damn things out of MDF, which is uh, yeah, they're laminated. All, they're all veneered now. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, that's good. I just wonder how deep that is. Use your depth oh, gauge. Really? Use my depth gauge. Wait a minute, I'll find it. I can't remember where I put it. Oh, I do now. <laughs> I had a bit of a move around. Look at how I've got a depth gauge. Look at that. Look at that. That's impressive. Hmm. You didn't paint the handle. You're remembering that I've got a mortise in the bottom. Yeah. You don't have to go too deep with that. Looks, that looks good as it is. Yeah, I think it looks Perspective yeah. depth. It's not it's a function. It's right for the bowl. It's a not for, Yeah, it's not. It's just, just for decoration. Yeah. So Roy's this, got... this, bit, this bit here is bad where this knot is and the, these radiant cracks. Yeah. Just try a finishing cut with the heavier gouge on that as yeah. well. Nice okay. slow cut on it. Yeah. So Roy, nice sharp reason... gouge, slow cut. So Roy, the reason you're back for this, when you go there the next night, you don't fall down the hole, mate. Your time feeding it across. So what would look nice as well if you stop that cut about an inch from the bowl edge. About now. Let's see going stop here. and have a look. That's a bit. What do you reckon? Maybe a bit higher shoulder. Just, just that little raised lip. Hmm. Just to give yeah. it. Mm. Uh, I'll take it to You could define the lip with a with a Hold skew. On. It would need to be a bit, well, I don't know about a square lip, maybe rounded. Oh, look at that. Maybe rounded. That a lip. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that does work. That's right, doesn't that's, it? Yeah, that's, that's worth a treat. Just, just sometimes, see? Just sometimes. Just sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you just think... to knock the corner off that uh, lip just, on just both sides. This a bit of a... Yeah, just soften just, it. Just, just, just soften it with a skew. Got a little bit of tear out in the bottom of that and all. There's a bit of tear out just here. Yeah. I would use that, a that's... very very careful cut with a spindle gauge on that myself. Spindle gauge? Yeah, just to feather so. out. Just effectively beading it. Just tiny little cut. Just, just on yeah. the edge. Just rolling it over. You see that? Yep, yeah, that's it. Well, we'll give it a go. Nigel Foster. <coughs> Nigel Foster, take that back. <laughs> No, the white rim is not going to have some colour added. 
Can't no. cut a you, man. That's What's a good idea. You? What's the matter with burn you? It. Put a couple of lines in it and burn some like, rings in it. But don't <laughs> it. You burn it. And do you want me to round this edge as well? Oh, just well, yeah, just a mat. I think that yeah, just a mat. Yeah, just round it over just gently. It gives you that finish. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I got that or not. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, the 20 grit will finish that off. Yeah, sand that'll be fine. <laughs> time you time you sand it with it. Yeah, that's not quite 100. percent That'll sand it. It'll sand it. It'll sand it. We'll just round this in as well. Yeah, just gently. Yeah. Same yeah, as the other same one. Same amount. Just ma just match the outside one. Yes, yes. He says just holding his breath and hoping it works. That'll be all right. Oh, that's too much now. Ah, it doesn't work. Don't bother me. And you don't get a catch, but you know. I hope you didn't put your tool on your tool on the bed. My bed. <laughs> right there, I write it down every time he does it. <laughs> yeah. Report him to nice Brian. Up. Report him to Brian. After all, he made that lovely little tool tray as well. Yeah. That's Special where it for is. it. It's on my tool wrist. That he made me make one as well. It's on my tool tray. I heard a clunk as it went on the metal. That's it, nice and gentle. There you go. Okay, you can even sound the rest, Brian, because it's only a, it's only a little bit. Hodgepodge says it's messed up now. Go back to the ash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we do the ash instead, guys? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> them little shavings here, don't we? Good damn. Fine. Okay. Good, Brian. Let me get rid of some of them Go away. Sounding. Sandy. You is Thanks. lovely. It cuts beautifully. Even when it's as hard as concrete, it still cuts beautifully. Mm -hmm. It's as hard as the road, that guys. So, power head back on. Don't forget to uh, round over the outside rim as well, because that's probably razor sharp. That is pretty sharp, yeah. But I'm going to use the power sander. Yep. Which is basically just a drill with the harbour. I'm going to start with 120 again and see how that works. This Joe still here? She's very quiet. Right, come on. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm listening to you all. I thought you was asleep. Just woke up. No, not yet. Are you getting that way, Joey? This afternoon. Getting that way, Joe. She's on mute doing Again, it because it's you, I'm not pressing very hard. Just what speed are you going at? Is in. What speed are you going at, Brian? Evening, Stuart. Um, Evening, Stuart. 600, Terry. Is it too fast? Mm. Yeah, a bit quick. 540, yeah, okay. That's it, yeah. You want to get down a bit, that's it. It'll still sand as good, but it won't get so hot. Stephen Math, uh, Stuart and Goody. Did we have said that? I've just said that, but Stephen huh? Madden is in as well. Hi, Hi Stephen. Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Good evening. Good evening. All. Nice to see you in. Nice to see all of you in. I do have a question, though, Go to on. the chat. Why? Have we got 77 people in, but only 48 thumbs up? Come on, guys, you can do better than that. Brian's done a nice show for you. Yeah, Let's show nice our appreciation. Job. They're probably engrossed in it, so they haven't thought about that, you see. And if there's six of you that have not subscribed to me yet, you might want to go over and subscribe, because I only need six for 500 subscribers. Well, we need six at the minute, but Tommy goes down and look, I need 12. Yeah, yeah, just... <laughs> 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 now that somebody's broached the subject of uh, subscriptions, hmm. I need three for 700. Three for 700, come on. Yeah, so if three of you are watching and you haven't subscribed I, to Brian, I'm, it would I'm be gonna make, it. I'm going to make Brian start doing this now. He doesn't need three for 700. He needs he 303 needs for 1,000. Yeah, okay. He People. needs 303 to give a smock away. Yes. To every subscriber. Oh, yeah, of course. Everybody's going to get, a, a, well, some lucky person is going to get one of Brian's famous smocks. Infamous smocks. <laughs> I 
looking I good, right? I can't get that in there. Cheers. I can't get that right yeah. to that edge. Take well, you know what you got to do off. this. Take your pad off, fold it, sand it, it put, put the hard edge right in there and hold it. Not too hard. And on. sand it. Because you're actually creating a cutting edge, aren't you, so? Yeah. Mind your left wrist on the rim. Yeah, I'm watching it, mate. It's far enough away. Hmm. This, this little I'm just thinking you might spoil a piece of blood. Is, uh, is causing me no end of trouble. Yeah, Mark. I'm trying, I'm trying to get that sanded. That'll be a challenge. Oh, well. Let's go up again. Up to you. Thank you, guys. Suffer. It's now 60 thumbs up. Suffer for your Thank, Thank you, everybody. guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very thanks. much, guys. Appreciate that. Nigel Foster says, is it one size fits all with a smock, Brian? Of course not. It won't fit Terry. Well, it will. I can use it as a raincoat. Be like a dress. <laughs> well, I'll have to tell the world with my sister, but if we get the 1,000 subs, uh, I will uh, ask my Purchase sister if she'll make a bespoke smock for whoever it is that wins it's it. Good idea. With I'm Brian Superfan across the back. Hmm. What do you mean? I, I was going to do. I was going to give away when I get to five hundred. I was going to give away one of Brian's smocks. <clears throat> Stephen the Wood Dude said, "Question: Does anyone hand sand with the grain between grits?" Yes. I, now and again, I do. Depend on what it is. Very seldom on bowls. Yeah, there, there, there's an there. issue hand sanding this with the grain nope. because it's going in every it's direction. Every, yeah. yeah. I'm not like I do on spindles. Like I can say it's mostly on spindle work other than bowls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. With the um, hope inertia sander, then it's kind of irrelevant, really. Uh, on bowls, it is, yep. Mm. There's enough, I don't think there's enough definition now on that. Ram. You can well, get that. your skew out and make it again. It's a definition that you can just about make out, but you'll feel it. I like that. Mm. You don't I want it to do in right. your face. It's quite it. subtle. That's quite subtle. It's nice. I love it. Well, there's no sand paper on that. Oh. It'll be a while sanding it with that. Then. Yeah, it might, <laughs> might be a while. Might this bowl has been velcroed. <laughs> <laughs> it, may, it may well melt the loops in. <laughs> I just flatten this a bit, that might just give it a little bit more of an edge. Zed has said in reply to Stephen, so when you say hand sand, you mean sand by hand? Is that yeah, a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> oh, here yeah, guys, for this correct stunt all. Too much. Is that a thing? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it will. It is. You can always glue it, snooker glue it. <clears throat> nah, you don't need to with you. It doesn't move once it's done. No, starts. I would just so let it. Once it, it, it cools down, it should shrink back up anyway, shouldn't it? Yeah. 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 I just want to. Uh, it'll it'll, it'll um, be visible, but it won't go anywhere. No. Right. One little bit of um, 240 just to run it on that edge, just to take the, the razor edge yeah, off of it. Yeah, take the sharp off. Yeah. Just so a heads up, Brian, you've been running for two bottles now. Yes. All right, man. <laughs> I'm nearly done. Um, Pete, just as a ballpark, how many bottles do I need to buy? Oh, <laughs> 20 or so we should do it. What a well, stupid question. That is... Only one evening. Okay. <laughs> how many bottles evening. do I need to buy? What you meant to say was, <laughs> how many cases do I need to buy? <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be up during the afternoon, Mark, so... Uh... Yeah, but you ain't well, getting any. There's you also can't really can't have any. <laughs> oh, so so let's stand in. Ah, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't like this at all. What don't you like about it, bro? Well, it's not sanded right. As in, it's you can't get in there, or it's sanded round and it doesn't look good. I'm going to try a nurse sander on it just so as I get a bit You're more close up. You, sh you know. Yeah, it, it just doesn't look right, guys. Okay. Just give me a sec. If you're not happy, do it some more. 
Can yeah, you do yeah. some more of that, that, Brian? Yeah, because you're going to take your round. You're going to get rid of that. Yeah, you're going to move your. Do it now. Do it now. Because you'll round off the. Yes. Even more when you. Yeah. Definition. I got it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it off camera so you can't laugh at me getting not getting a straight we line. We can see you doing it. We can see you. Oh, sugar. <laughs> We're laughing. It's okay. <clears throat> Pretty good job, old man. <laughs> not bad for an old boy. <laughs> oh, I know what happened there. I just sanded it up to 180. That was a problem. Uh -huh. That's why it didn't look very nice. Are Yorkshire gritting this bit as well? Yeah. I think I is. What was it you said? Um, <laughs> said Brian's name should be Mark. Half Glenn, job. wake up, Joe. Oh, I don't have to um, wake up from already. Half job, Harry. Yeah, half job, half job Harry. Harry. I think that'll be enough of that. Good old Narky with us because we changed his nickname. Yep. Half job. Yep. Half job, Harry. I've never been accused of doing half a job in my life. We have said last week twice. <laughs> yeah, except, you shouldn't have said about you. the second one, Mark, as well. Except by you and your opinions doesn't count. Oh, <gasps> wasn't that just me. It was me too. It was me too. It's not right in the, in the middle yeah, of that well, he, he didn't, he didn't raise right. that top off properly, did he? What top? <laughs> no, he didn't. Should have been sanded and varnished yeah. and waxed. And, yeah, yeah, right enough. Yeah. Oh, about the tabletop? No, yeah. yeah, it's real wobbly. That's all I'm doing, he said. That's all I'm That's doing. doing. That's all I'm doing. Oh, just half okay, a job. I'm going to do half a job. It's fine. Yeah. This is, a table, this is a table that I'm hammering and chiseling on and yeah, throwing things yeah. on it. Big logs land on it. And I'm it's going to bother sanding it. I don't think so. It's about having pride in your work. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. You'll get a splinter off that it's one day and you'll think, damn me. it, I wish I sanded it. Like the chaps have said. Like my mate. I'll tell you what, guys. If, if you're that worried about the sanding on my table, jump on a flight and come over and sand it. Okay. No okay. problem. Okay. Because there's one thing for sure and certain. I ain't sanding it. Four of us turn up Friday night. What are you going to do then? Yeah, Plenty of drinks for you. <laughs> Plenty of drinks for you. I've got room for you to put yous up. That'll he's be got that yours. He's got that nice new barn now, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. I've, got, I've yeah. got three stables. <laughs> it's a bit drafty, but... So I can be a bay of hay. You can, right, you can have a stable each. Bay of hay, I'll be all right. A stable each and a bale of hay and a nose bag. There you go. You're grand. <laughs> You're grand like Flint. I don't want them dried carrots. I want proper carrots. Yeah. I don't do dry carrots. My horses get apples. Oh, that's apples. Oh, that's not bad. Fair. Apples. That's like my stewed with custard. <laughs> stewed apples or custard, lovely. Right. It was your video goes out tonight, doesn't it? I sometime. <laughs> Sometime if I ever finish on time. It's 20 to bloody 10. Let him move on, Brian. What are you doing? No need Lewis has just finished his video. Just finished it. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, Where are you, this mate? is last minute, Lewis. It is last minute, Lewis. That's the no, name. no, 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 no. He's just finished Daniel Workplace Conduct, Conduct Online Training. Oh, no. His video was finished last week. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. That's yeah, online Lewis, training. The video was finished last week. It'll be uploaded five minutes before it's live. Yeah. So plenty Lewis, to be honest. Get when it's stationary, as usual. Yeah. To, to be honest, Lewis, um, online the, training at your age? Wrong. Online training? Let's see. He's got, what? He's got more chance of knowing how to do online training than you have. That's what life's Why about, does he need online training, training at his age? Go on, Joe, 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 come on. His age. Hands up your pity can be soft as your face. I caught him all asleep. Life brown, your clear gritty. Yeah, I caught him all asleep, Joe. They won't expect that. <laughs> Is there anybody still here? Yeah, it's 394. Lewis, he's here. 
Yeah, yeah, so, is yeah. this going to be a video or premiere? <laughs> that said, I think you guys misunderstood. Lewis wasn't a student. He was the example of how not to behave. That's probably more like <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, right. Oh, that's fair enough. I can understand that then. He's probably the tutor. Huh. You got a tutor's badge, Lewis. God. <laughs> there we oh, go. God. Here we go. The badge is speaking again. The badge. <laughs> well, I, I normally do make a comment when Joe sings, but after... Um, the attempt at singing from Mr. Walton Co. at lunchtime. Thank you, Joe. That was wonderful. Yeah, that was wonderful. An angelic, that was, Joe. Uh, Lewis, Lewis says it's a video. It's a video going out tonight. Oh, it's a video. He doesn't do it. doesn't do premiers anymore. He can't be bothered staying up that late. Oh, is that what it is? That late? It's about lunchtime for him, isn't it? Or five o'clock in the evening. I said. He's getting old. He can't be bothered staying up that late. Yeah. <laughs> he needs his afternoon nap. He tries to make the excuse it's too, you know, it's too, it's uh, around dinner time, so it's too much to do, you know, getting his dinner fed to him and stuff. And well, you can always put his, <coughs> his dinner. when it's R3 in the morning, this is 11 o'clock, you don't mind. This, this has been a terrible sanding demo. But anyway. But if you're not happy, you can always send it back and do it again tomorrow. Yeah. I can. It's got a mortise on it, so I'm happy. I think I've done that extractor off. It'd make a terrible noise there. I'll finish with it. Yeah, as Lewis is going to be putting out, um, just to go live at half past ten, if you go to his channel, which is there. There you go, move on. Then hang around there at sort of half past ten and you'll see it come live. It'll just appear. That's a bank magic. Yeah, it'll bounce still ring the bell. Click the bell, and you'll be notified whenever he puts any content out. You could do the same on my channel too, of course. Yeah. Not that you want to see this again, Link, but no matter. So it's got a premiere tomorrow. Put your link in, Zed, if you've got it, if you've made it already. <clears throat> Anybody else that's got a, has anything coming up in the near future, stick your link in there. Or let Mark know what it is and he'll stick your link in. I'm live next Monday. <laughs> Steve's live yeah. on Friday and Sunday. Are you sure, though, Terry? Are you sure you're live? No, I'm not really. I'm ch checking flights. <laughs> he has to, there is, he has to, there is a possibility I could be live Monday night. Well, I'm covering yeah, yeah. your next holiday, Terry, so you can't go Mon into Monday September. night. You, you, uh, uh, there's a possibility you could what? be live next Monday night. <laughs> Okay, Pete. Pete's going to cover my next lie, my, my next holiday. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to go on a holiday until September. I think There's I'll probably have had four or five by then, Pete. <laughs> I've had four or five by then. There's the link for zombies. Yep. Uh, premiere tomorrow night. How to make his big F scraper. Oh, oh is, yeah. Is, 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 Making another one. Blimey, me, the one you got is big enough. I've you dust everywhere here. Yeah. Stephen, there's always slots, mate. Wednesday lunchtime. Always a slot. Always a Wednesday slot. Wednesday lunchtime's a good slot. Who wants Just slot? come on and do it. Thursday evenings is a good slot. Yeah. Yep. Saturday lunchtime is a good slot. Yeah. And even if you clash with somebody else, then... You know, Who cares? Clash with somebody if you want to come on and do it, mate. He's on about doing video, Watch so... Watch it before or after. Matter. Exactly. That doesn't, a video can be watched any time. Steve, Stephen, who? You can come on and do lives any time you want to do videos. Yeah. Yes. Videos, put on any time. Good man, Stephen. Uh, we, we want to see how it's you do that. It's time you did, actually, because you've got some yeah. superb work. Stunning work out there. Stunning stuff out there. So you just get it on. you do it. Because Stephen's finishing is immaculate. Mm. I'm only playing a finishing here. Compared to Stephen. Yeah, we thought that, but you know. Shut up, you. 
What did not say too much? You or oh, you can be quiet as well. Who invited you anyway? <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, I did. No. Yeah, live with it. Yeah, get over it. Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> yeah. Get over Basically. It. I'm not trying to rush you, Brian, but Steve's Steve's got to go to bed. You got to get up for work at six. I know, I'm not. I'm, I'm only getting this. Subscribe to you, five. Stephen. So when you do put a video out, I'll get told about it. Yeah. Have you already done that? God, blimey, me, come on. We well, ain't got any videos, so I haven't bothered subscribing. To yeah, well. Now he said he might do one. I thought I subscribed. Right, we'll not. We'll we'll not do the. Uh... The micro faint because you guys are in a hurry now, so no, we're not in a hurry. No, yes, yeah, hurry. give me a hard time then. Everybody's well, enjoying the unit as a snowflake now. Thing is, Brian, if you if, believe, if you finish too early, they got to go back to the videos of Carnation Street or East Enders or whatever their wives want. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to keep people here for two hours. You, you've done that once today already. We don't want to do it twice in a day. <laughs> You've got 12 minutes to go then. No, that's all right. One of you will take another six minutes and we'll be done. <coughs> Question here for you, Stephen, from Douglas. Yeah, I'll just answer it, mate. Just give it another little wax on the outside as well. Like See, the, the really sad thing is I ran out of beer at five past nine. Aww. And I thought, I thought <coughs> that's okay. Brian yeah. will finish in time. I can nip up the co op, get some more. Now, go up shots in seven minutes. So, oh, oh, no, Mark, because I'll still be doing this when you get back. No, Brian's actually done you a favour because he saved your money. Exactly. No, he's cost oh, me I've more money. Got, um, I've still got a case and a half on the table outside the back door if you want one. Oh, good. Ah. Bring it with you. Um, I've got to go to the garage now and buy four beers, and they'll be more expensive. So it's actually cost me money. You could just do without the beer. How about that? Yeah. How about that for oh, a right. radical idea? So what you're going to, are you? Or you're just going to go with the brandy? I'll just have a brandy one again. Oh, yeah, you see. I could buy some oh, I must admit, I've had a glass drink. of wine because I'm not out in the workshop today, tonight. So. Well, I'm not really in the workshop either. This is a, an apparition, you can see. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously left I it on. Since it's my fault for adding the extra bit on the rim. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That would have been funny obviously, half an hour ago. Obviously, he left it on the loop to keep playing, Brian. So Keith Jarvis has got to go. See you later, Keith. Thanks for coming. Bye, over. Keith. Thanks for coming Bye, over, mate. Keith. Nice, to, nice to see you in, mate. See you later, good Keith. Vinnie Brown's going to have a whiskey. It's getting near bedtime for folks, so. Not for Lewis. And like. Well, that's true. Some of them guys are just up. Zed will just be awake. Like, I mean, he only woke up two hours ago. I was going to say. Yeah. Most of Australia be asleep. <coughs> nah, they'll be getting up. Or up. I think we're done. Look at that lovely jubbly. Heck of a job, that. You're welcome. It was a right, right <laughs> choice of wood for the chat. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, not one big conceited round, Mark, are you? No, You're welcome. I'm quite proud of the fact that I made you do that. That looks mm. stunning, mate. It does. Oh, it's not. It's really nice. <laughs> it's not really. There you go. Look at that, look. Beautiful. I like the shape. There you yep. go. Mm. That is beautiful. Yeah, that have a nice tactile feel to it. That's, yeah. how, that's, that's how you turn a piece of you. There you go. There you go, guys. Spider Spit says he's up for work in six hours, but still here. Well, Good man. Spider. Love it. Appreciate it, mate. Lots of these hellions back in. There we go, guys. We're done. So there's a nice little U-boat. <coughs> what did it finish up? Let's just quickly check. Just move that out of the shot. It finished up 10 and a quarter inches or 262 mil. <laughs> My two stands uh, 45 mil. mil off the table or an inch and three quarters. Okay, wake up now, yeah. everybody. So that's us, Not that's bad. a little new project. It was worth evening. waiting for, Billy. Very I hope nice. you enjoyed that. I hope that's you enjoyed one of the nicest pieces you've made, Brian. Yeah, I think it's quite nice. I'm, I'm going to repolish the outside because it's not just 100%, it's not as good as I would like it, but I'll okay. like it. 
so we'll do it again and then we'll get some photographs up once i get my maker's mark on the bottom nice, then, yeah well thanks very much for watching guys and it's 10 to 10 we made it yeah easy life 40 minutes before lewis is going live look at yep. that plenty yeah. of time so thanks very much for everybody who came in and watched and give me a thumbs up thanks to my earworms um so it's good night from pete all right comes go good night from terry good night everybody thanks for turning up nice to speak to you good night everyone good night from mark good night and <laughs> good night for um, uh, what do you call that guy uh, steve That's stephanie stephanie good night all and uh keep your eyes open on facebook for mark's duck yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mark's duck will be floating along the somewhere in the, in the near future. Who said duck? <laughs> it's a I rabbit. It's Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny is a rabbit. Back. It's definitely a it's duck. No, it's a I duck. Don't. It's looks a, like a half turn butt plug. That's what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be rounded and, off. And on that note, we'll you call it a day, guys. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, go press the button now before this gets out of hand. Just quickly, Lewis will be live at half past ten. Don't forget. Lewis at half past ten, guys. Uh, I'll see you all there. Good night. Catch you later, guys. Bye.